Hello and happy good morning. My name is Tyler and welcome to Tyler's Book Club Reads. Today we are going to be doing a super fun video. I have seven people lined up who have no idea what's going on. All they know is that I am going to send them a message and request them to choose a number. What that number is going to mean is how many pages of a book I'm allowed to read for that day. So if somebody chooses five pages, I think I might scream. That is the only amount of reading I'm allowed to do for that day until the next day. I'm excited to do this video because I think it's going to be challenging for me. If somebody chooses like 300 pages, I am a mom, I am stay at home, but I also have a child to look after a house to look after and I do have stuff that I do throughout the day like going into town and stuff like that so to make like 300 pages work in a day that's also gonna be challenging but yeah that is what this video is going to be about I'm rambling for a minute and 12 seconds I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video and I feel kind of a little bit at home I hope that you're excited I'm excited I have no idea what's gonna happen this is the very beginning we are starting on a Monday I am going to message a bestie and find out how many pages I'm allowed to read for today. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Okay, so we currently only have two people online, so I'm gonna choose one of them. And all I'm doing is I have a besties choose chat with all the people that I've selected, and I'm gonna at them and let them choose how many pages I'm allowed to read today. I'm really nervous about this because I just started a book yesterday and I'm so in love with it and I hope that I get to read more of it today. Like a lot more of it today. So we are going to go at Renee. I thought it would be fun to actually explain who these people are and then put their information in the video. So Renee is a real life bestie. Um, we actually have a girls trip planned in like two weeks and I am so excited. We're going to like a little cabin with like a personal hot tub and it's going to be amazing and I'm gonna be recording some of that as well. We're gonna choose Renee first. Okay, so this is the book that I just started. This is Talk Bookish to Me by Kate Bromley. I'm 18 pages in. Literally landed on 18, weird. <laughs> There are a total of, oh wow, literally goes to the epilogue. Don't read anything that's going to spoil it. 317 pages, so between 18 and 317. Choose a number between 19 and 317. So I put choose a number between 19 and 317. This is kind of like thrilling and also terrifying because the fate of what I get to read is in their hands. So I hope it makes good content for you guys. So we will wait for her to reply. Please, please, please be kind to me. I want to read so much more of this book today. While we're waiting for Renee, I actually have a book club that I'm going to tonight, which is my first book club here in my small town. There's 11 of us. We finished reading and then she was gone by Rosalind Noonan and we are going to get together at a local bar and talk about it and I'm so excited because I've actually never been a part of a book club so this is going to be like such a cool experience I'm probably not gonna record anything because it's my first time meeting these people and like that's weird I don't want to be like a social media girly in my small town there's literally like 360 people who live here so you can make a name for yourself very quickly and I want the name for myself to be positive and also blendy <laughs> I don't want to be like oh there's Tyler social media girly I'm very excited about it it's going to be a ton of fun okay we have heard back from Renee she's my bestie so I just texted her <laughs> 217 pages mm -hmm. it's noon so by my calculations <laughs> you did that to me Renee I have to, well, we're gonna get through this book fast. I have to read this much today. I think that mathematically that lands me at 235. I, so uh, let's get started. That's a lot of pages. Okay, bye. Oh, all right, 217 pages. Hopefully Daniel goes down for a nap and we can get a good chunk of it done.
upstairs that my neighbor is stuck, so I'm gonna go help him. Well, that was a lot harder than either of us anticipated, but he is free. I am on page 32, so we're gonna keep going. recording uh, I'm on page 38 and so far I'm really enjoying it uh, the story follows Kara and Ryan and Christina and Jason Christina and Jason are getting married so it's like your typical rom-com we're at a wedding exes run into each other storyline type plot so we've got obviously like grumpy grumpy right now because they're both mad at each other obviously there's like subtle dialogue of you know maybe I want him to look at me differently or maybe I like the way he's doing things so I'm hooked like Kate Bromley doesn't miss so I'm gonna continue reading um, and not record because I have a lot way I have a long way to go okay guys so I'm just about to head out to book club update on talk bookish to me I am at page 139 which actually is a lot more than I thought I was gonna get read today so looking good I'm gonna finish the rest of it tonight hopefully when I get back from book club uh, wish me luck I'm a little nervous but I'm excited to hang out with the ladies and talk about books. Again, we are going to be talking about, and then she was gone. So, traumatizing. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey guys, we are back. It is the next day and let's see how we did. With the 217 pages that Renee gave me yesterday, I'm happy to report I have read the full 217 let me tell you, this left me on such a big cliffhanger and I am very ready to dive back into this book. I was up until uh, 15 past midnight last night to make sure that I got this read. Dedication, we are her. Okay, so I have asked my next bestie to choose a number. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the next bestie that I have in here is J.B. Reese. So J.B. Reese is the author of Tiny Fractures. She was the first person to actually ever send me a book. And it was so crazy to have that experience as such a small account and was like, hey, you want to read my book? And let me tell you, that book was so good. She has a second one coming out. So I'm going to put some details for her books below. But yeah she just took a chance on me and i thought that was really cool and we've kind of become friends since well besties since and i thought she would be perfect for this so jb reese has said 77 and a 77 oh that is rough that leaves me i'm not allowed to read the last five pages are you joking okay that <laughs> one two three four five so i'm literally reading oh my light just turned off i'm literally reading up until the epilogue are you joking i am going to get reading and i'm excited to jump back in yeah i cannot believe that leads me like right to the epilogue i guess we'll find out what happens tomorrow <laughs> All right, so I am just sitting down to read my 77 pages. It is 6 p.m. This day got away from me, but I did just spend like three hours cleaning. So my house is clean, it smells nice, I am comfy cozy, and we are gonna get these 77 pages done. The want for this MMC to kick rocks and to not get his happy ending is so strong with this book. I want the FMC to leave him in the dust. I want her to go find her happy ever after because F this freaking guy in the B. Hello everybody, we are back. It is Wednesday and we are going to find out how many pages we get to read today. Yesterday was 77. Happy to report we did get 77 pages read, which left us with literally just the epilogue. I have yet to read the epilogue of this book. Now, because I'm so close to being done this book, I thought it would be fun that I unwrap one of my gift wrapped TBR books. So how that's going to work, because you guys are probably new here, I have gift wrapped that section of my bookcase and I have numbers in here. So we're gonna choose a number and then we're gonna unwrap that book and that'll be the book that I read next. The book that we are going to be unwrapping is book number nine. So let's go ahead and get that. We've got number nine here. Before we unwrap that, let's find out how many pages we're reading and introduce you to my next bestie. 
Okay, so the next bestie that I have on here is Christy. Christy is actually a family member. She is my sister-in-law and she is a fellow book lover. We talk about books literally all of the time and I thought she would be perfect for this. She's Devin's sister, if that didn't make any sense. Oh. I asked her this morning. I have five pages until I'm done reading What Bookish to Me. She gave me seven pages. Uh-huh. This group hates me. <laughs> 217 on Monday, 77 on Tuesday, 7 on Wednesday. I'm sensing a theme. Everyone's choosing a 7 number. Okay, well that means that my gift wrapped book I get to read two pages of. What am I going to do with myself today? I only get to read 7 pages? And I literally spent three hours yesterday cleaning the house, so I don't have anything to do. I might have to go out into the world. Well, I guess let's find out what two pages I am reading from number nine. I have a feeling it's gonna be like a rom, like a romance, just because of the size of the book. Oh, I'm actually so excited for this. So this is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Funny story, I read uh, what's it called? So I picked up the Hawthorne Legacy a couple of months ago. I read this to find out that it's the second in the series. So the Inheritance Games actually comes first. Ooh, I'm excited for this. I really, really enjoyed the Hawthorne Legacy. So this is going to be super fun to read. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I get to read two pages of it though. Oh my god. Uh, this seemed like such a fun content idea and I think that it's just been pure torture actually <laughs> so so I'm going to read my seven pages and uh I guess we'll see you tomorrow okay, bye <laughs> okay so it's still Wednesday and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have not read my seven pages and it's not because I don't have time I have nothing but time and normally in that time it's filled with reading but I can't bring myself <laughs> to finish the book and then only read two pages of a new book. I'm seriously struggling. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to wait until like right before bed. Like I'm in bed, I'm getting ready to go to sleep because then at least I'll have sleep to look forward to. If I read my seven pages now, it's just a void, an empty void until tomorrow where hopefully I get to read more. So, <laughs> When I said that this challenge was a little bit of torture, I'm not lying. I just, I want to get lost in a book. And I put the restriction on myself for your guys' entertainment. And I didn't think that having less pages would be more difficult than reading 200 pages like I did on Monday. Self-realization, here we are. Okay, so I am just about to read my seven pages uh, five pages of Talk Bookish to Me and like two pages of Inheritance Games. I waited until 9 p.m. because then it's like read and then kind of go to bed instead of read and then have an empty void of sadness for the rest of the day. So I'm hoping, I'm manifesting a high number for tomorrow because I just, I just want to read. Today was really difficult to fill my time with things that weren't reading a book. And that's the first time since March when I kind of really got back into reading that I felt that way. So this has been an eye-opening experience so far. Tomorrow is Thursday and I can't wait to find out how much we're reading. Hello, we are back. It is Thursday. It is chilly. I am in my robe. <sighs> Winter has arrived. We're going to do a recap of yesterday and then get into today's bestie and how many pages I'm going to be reading. So I'm happy to report I read the seven pages. <laughs> From yesterday, I read them right before bed. You guys would have seen in the previous clips how I was like having an existential crisis about reading so few pages. So I did finish the talk bookish to me. I read the epilogue. It was adorable, of course. And I've read two pages of the Inheritance Games. And let me tell you, I want to read more. So we are going to get into today's bestie. So my next bestie we have here is Ben. I've known Ben for quite a while. We met back on the good old TikTok days where I used to do um, like cosplaying, dressing up. I had a character that I played. Her name was Kinetic Vibes. 
if you remember me or recognize me from those days, I'm sorry. It was a lot of fun though, and that's where I met him. Um, we haven't met in person, but we have been online friends for quite a while. We actually just reconnected last week or the week before. So I thought it would be really fun to bring him into this video because like, why not? I don't think that he's like a super bookish person, but you don't have to be a bookish person to tell me how many pages I'm reading. So I asked him how many pages between one and 273 and I had my fingers crossed that it was going to be a high number because I just want to read. Like being deprived of reading, all I want to do is read. And he gave me 42, which isn't like a lot of pages, but it's enough pages. It's a couple of chapters. So I'm very happy with that number. So Ben does have a very successful TikTok. I will put his TikTok down below. Him and his wife also have a podcast. It's called Wicked and Grim. Yeah, Wicked and Grim. And it's a true crime pro podcast. So if any of you guys are into true crime, you have to check it out. Again, it will be linked down below. So very excited to read 42 pages today. It's not seven. So I don't think I'm going to have as much trouble as I did yesterday. So I will check in with you guys either tomorrow or a little bit later today. Okay, bye. Hello everybody. It feels weird saying hello because it's like a continuation video, but for me it's a totally different day. So good afternoon. It is Friday. We are going to do a recap of yesterday. As you saw, I went out, I went to the bookstore. I had such a good time. I did a massive haul. I got a lot of stuff for Black Friday. I just posted a reel. Maybe I'll insert it into this video so you guys can see. These are my ladies. This is Jill. This is my lady, Amy. Little Susie, Brianna. You know why we call her Brianna, right? No. Uh, it's a long story. Shaniqua, Helga, Miss Kitty, Jeannie. I dream of that. I thought it was pretty funny because like, how do you show people what books you got because they're Christmas gifts? So let's get into our recap. So yesterday I did read the 42 pages that was assigned by Ben. Honestly, it's so cool to be back into this world, but it's interesting being back into this world, but going backwards. So I'm reading the first of the series when I read the second of the series. So I already know all these characters and I kind of already know the story, but it's interesting to dive like deeper into the beginning of it. So I'm having a really good time. I was sad to put down my book. Today my bestie is Emma from the Happy Little Book Club. I would show you on my iPad, but it is dead. So I did send a message. <laughs> and now it's broken. <laughs> Emma from Happy Little Book Club is my international bestie. She's from the US. We met on Bookstagram. Actually, we met on Bookstagram a couple of months ago and we've just been supporting each other and really just watching both of our pages just grow and it's so cool. Uh, we send each other like little gifts every now and then in regards to like shipping it in the mail. So she's like super fun to have as like an international bestie. I really hope that I get to meet her one day because she is so sweet and she have a lot in common for people who live on different sides of the border. So I did send a message this morning and she just got back to me. I asked her between 1 and 373 I believe and she chose 309. <laughs> so I would normally be like but one this book is so good and it's so easy to read. I read like 40 pages in 20 minutes yesterday maybe a little bit less so I don't think I'm gonna have a problem getting to 309 plus it's Friday so our evenings are normally like super chill I stay up a little bit later so 
309 is exciting. That's going to put me very close to the end of this book. I am at page 44. And the reason why I'm at page 44 is because the day before I got to read two pages. So 44 to, so what did she say? 309? I just did like really quick page math where I did 309 and then counted 44 pages. So 354 I think is where that leads me, which is chapter 87. So that's a giant chunk of this book. This challenge has been so interesting because I'm reading so fast. I will be done this second book obviously by the end of this weekend and into a third, which is crazy. I am just loving it. now. I'm not going to 100% guarantee that I, I'm going to be able to get through this, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I also want to say that I am not reading any more or any less of what you guys are requesting up until today. This might be a little bit of a challenge. It's not like I'm reading seven pages, picking up a different book and then reading for four hours. I'm legitimately limiting myself. Yeah, I will leave her information down below so you guys can go ahead and give her a follow. She is super entertaining. Her videos are like top notch. They're so good. Yeah, I just love her. So I'm gonna get to reading and I will check in with you guys later today. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my son is driving me all the way up the wall today. I think that he's teething really badly or something, but he is just a whiny little disaster of a mess. He is just watching a movie. So, that normally puts him into nap mode. I'm going to take my beverage and my Nutella toast and go sit on the couch and try and get lost in a book and just turn off all the noise. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I am going to do what I've been doing the whole video, which is recap yesterday and talk about today's bestie. So I'm sad to report I did not finish the 309 pages. That was quite a feat and yesterday was quite a struggle. It was just one of those days, right? Like reading wasn't in the cards for me yesterday and that's when I got one of my highest numbers. So that's okay. Uh, I got done what I got done. So I read up until page 194 and I read from 44 to 194 and 150 pages? I think it's 150 pages. That's weird that I landed on the four fours. So I mean, still got a good chunk of reading done, just not as much as was given to me, but that's okay. You know what? Sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's not a reading day. Today is Saturday. We have some family that's coming down to our small town to come visit. And I have my number from my next bestie. So let's introduce him. His name is Joel. Joel has been here since the very beginning of my bookstagram. Like right when I first started, he jumped ship, jumped ship, jumped onto the ship. That's a weird saying. He's been here ever since. He's also an amazing author. He wrote Larger Than Love and I read that two books ago and guys, I loved it. So if you guys are interested in that, I will put the links down below. I did reach out to him this morning and he has given me my number. He's given me the number 46. I'm pretty sure it's 46. I'm recording on the phone that I got the message from. Unfortunately, my iPad did not survive the fall yesterday. That puts me at, I put a marker in here. 194, 46 takes me to 240. So I've got like little stickers in here with like place markers of where I'm reading. I got another sticker in here. It's a little black Christmas cat. Somehow I'm not losing stickers, but I lose bookmarks. I don't know, make it make sense. Check back in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so it is Saturday still, Saturday evening, and I'm just sitting here. I've read my 46 pages for today. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the, I think it's 115, which really is just the end of this book. But yeah, I thought I would just be transparent with you guys and let you know that I am about to finish Inheritance Games. And I'm so excited. I will check in with you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hello and good morning. It is Sunday. We are on our last day and I am so, so, so excited. I am partaking in a Alani. Last night was horrible. <laughs> Daniel was up like four times. One time he was up and he was just screaming and I couldn't figure out why. And I think it's because he had a really, really bad nightmare. And that makes me feel like oh, 
so sad, but we got through the night. I'm drinking a little bit of extra caffeine today because mama needs it. And we are gonna get into today's video. Let's get into the recap from yesterday. If you hear some noises, my husband's coming back in the house. And now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so I did finish my 46 pages that I was assigned yesterday. And if you saw the clip before this, which you would have, because I didn't delete it, I decided to take the days from, I think it was Wednesday or Friday. I think it was Friday actually, where I had 309 pages and I had like 115 pages left and just finish the book. So I have finished the inheritance games and guys, let me tell you, I missed out on so much by not reading this first that I'm going to go back in immediately and read the Hawthorne legacy again. This storyline is so, so, so good. It is YA and it is like very much YA, but not written for like young minds, you know, like it's still very intriguing to an adult. There's just no swearing and no like spice, which I'm totally okay with. So I'm gonna go in and once I get my number from my next bestie, I am going to start reading the second one again. And I'm going out today and I might pick up the third one, but don't tell anybody. Hey guys, as you can probably tell, it is no longer morning. <laughs> it is 5 p.m. 5 p.m. This day has just completely gotten away from me. Devin, Daniel, and I decided we were going to brave a mall today and go Christmas shopping, which wasn't as horrible as I thought it was gonna be. It was really, really busy, but we got a lot done, which was amazing. While I was out, I brought my book with me, so I am rereading The Hawthorne Legacy. I just finished The Inheritance Games. You guys know what's happening because it's not 24 hours for you guys. It's literally three seconds. <laughs> but I brought it with me because I was hopeful that my next bestie would get me a number while we were out, and she did. So let's go ahead and introduce her. Uh, my next bestie is Kate, AKA Magnolias and Manuscripts. She is relatively new to the Tyler's Book Club community, but honestly is such a big supporter and is honestly so cute and so fun. And she is an author. So she has written Southern Breeze and Mimosa Trees. I have ordered it. I have yet to actually receive it. I'm very excited to read this book, but with the postal strikes that are going on, I haven't received a package for like two weeks. So it's in the mail. I've heard nothing but great things from the people who have read the book. So very excited to get my grubby little fingers on that. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> why did I say that? So let's get into the number that she chose. I gave her, I wanted a high number. I want to preface this, but I wanted a high number. I just finished that book. I want to just like immerse myself into this. So I went big bold. I gave her a number between one and 268, which is a very big chunk of this book. And she came back with 248. So big number, it is 5 p.m. I have started reading. I did read some on the way home. I'm currently on page 35, which isn't a huge chunk, but it's progress. I'm going to continue reading as soon as I'm done recording this part. The day completely got away from us, but kind of in the best way. It was so nice to spend time with my family and do some shopping and just get into the holiday spirit and get some goodies. One thing I actually want to show you guys. So. I'm a really big fan of like Winners and Home Sense, AKA like TJ Maxx uh, in the States. And I think there's another name for it uh, abroad, but it's pretty much a place where you can kind of buy everything. And I came across these headphones. So these are just, what are they called? Sentry headphones. They were 30 bucks. And I was like, I need something because I listen to brown noise when I read. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. If you have, you might agree with me that it is magic. I read so fast when I have brown noise on, but I needed a new pair of headphones because I've misplaced mine and the Raycons that I had have magically disappeared in the move. So I splurged, I got myself, well, I can barely hear myself. I got myself a, I would say like a iPhone dupe headphone, Apple headphones, whatever they're called. Uh, they're very comfortable. They are going to be fantastic. I'm very excited to put these on and dive into my book and yeah Kind of really random, but I thought they were pretty right like for $30 Quality all right, I'm gonna pop off But we will check back in tomorrow to do a full recap of the whole week talk about how many pages we've read how many books we've read because spoiler alert it's more than one and yeah, very excited to wrap this video up, but it has been such a fun experience. So check back in with you tomorrow. Goodbye. 
Hello and welcome to the final day, the last check-in, the crescendo of this video. I am so, so happy to be here and to recap yesterday, talk about the week and wrap up this video because it was so much fun to make. This is kind of my toe back into YouTube and I really hope that you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, hit subscribe if you want to see more of me and yeah, Self-promotion over, let's get into it. So yesterday, Kate gave me a number of 248 pages with all of the running around and everything like that. I wasn't able to complete the full 248, but I did read until 160 pages. So I got this much read yesterday. Honestly, I read until my reading light died and then it was time for bed. So <laughs> that is how much I got read yesterday, which I think is a decent chunk of this book. So, I all in all, I kind of failed two days in the sense of not being able to read the amount that was given to me. Next time I do this, I think I'll keep my numbers at more of a realistic range. I just wanted to see how much we could read in the entire week. So, let's get into that because it's actually quite interesting. I have read two and a quarter books in a week. In a week? most months I read four books a month so this video really showed me that if I sit down and I dedicate time I can read a lot more than what I'm currently reading now this week was kind of really lax I didn't have any appointments I went into town like once or twice so like not all my weeks were like that but this just goes to show we read talk bookish to me by Kate Bromley uh, this book I gave five stars it was so cute I really hated the MMC up until the epilogue of course and then like right before where he does some romantic gesture and we're all like oh my god I love him again but really really well written if you haven't read anything by Kate Bromley I highly suggest if you like rom-coms uh, just romance books in general she also wrote here for the drama which I have read which I gave like six out of ten stars I really I was just blown away by how much I enjoyed it and enjoyed her writing so definitely check out Kate Bromley Jennifer Lynn Barnes read the first one this week and was like well I need to continue we need to get back into this world so I'm rereading the uh, Hawthorne legacy which you guys already know we've recapped this already Read all of the Inheritance games, thoroughly loved it, five stars. It is very YA, but not in the sense of like written for a teen, you know? Like it's not like written for their lingo. It's just very well written, no spice, no swearing, no nothing like that, but very smartly written where there is swearing, but they're using different words to say the words that you were like, oh, she's saying the F word, but instead she's saying Fox, you know? Like just very cleverly written. 160 pages done uh the hawthorne legacy yesterday i did some math that means over this entire week 376 pages for talk bookish to me 386 pages for inheritance games and 160 pages of the hawthorne legacy puts me at 922 pages almost a thousand okay closer to 950 but almost a thousand pages read in a week and that was just because i had to put the time and the dedication I am thoroughly impressed with myself. I had so much fun. Super big shout out to everybody who participated in this video. I wanna do it individually. Let's see if I can rattle them off at the top of my head. Renee, JV Reese, Christy, Ben, Emma, Joel, and Kate. Thank you so, so, so much for participating and helping me create this video. All of their information will be down below. All of their books that they have will be down below. Go give them a follow on their socials. They are absolutely incredible. And I think that that is it. We're officially wrapping up this week. I had so much fun. I intend to do another challenge probably next month or later this month. It's Christmas. This is a busy month. We'll say next month. I intend to do another challenge. So stick around if you guys want to watch that. Again, if you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!